uh, him to Isis. I'm not okay, so because I am the first and the last, I am the I can't read that word and the despised one. I am the prostitute and the saint. I am the bride and the virgin. I am the mother and the daughter. I am my mother's arms. I am the sterile one. Yet my children are numerous. I am the married woman and the unmarried one. I am the one who gives birth and the one who has never given birth. I am the consolation for the pains of childbirth. I am the bride and the groom. And it was my man who who nurtured my fertility. And I am my father's mother. I am my husband's sister. And he is my rejected son. Respect me always, as I am the scandalous and the magnificent one. The photos, goddammit, I can't look at them. Uh, I simply collapsed. I couldn't even enter the classroom. I found myself lying on the ground, my head between my hands and a swarm of students surrounding me and asking whether I was feeling well. The voices became noise and then nothing. I woke up at the hospital. According to the medical staff, I wasn't. it wasn't a heat attack, nor a stroke, nor a nervous breakdown. It was as if I switched myself off, but without giving into coma. I've been admitted for three days, but all the tests didn't lead anywhere. In the end, the doctors merely recommended me to rest a bit and um, prescribed me with a more substantial diet than the one I was following till now. The provost concurred with that and granted me five weeks off instead of the two counseled by my physician, just in time for the closure of the academic year, my assistants would take care of the examinations. The trees, an old cone, an, an old crone that talks with wolves, then the woods, the wind, two peaks, a creek and a building that looks like it was wedged in a motionless world, as ancient as earth itself, the sun wraps around everything, the clouds are walking across the valleys, and the silence of time slips by on the immensity in which I abandon myself. Everything faces out as the moral approaches. I am dominated by an inkling of vagueness. I, view, I feel my body is growing heavy like a boulder. I didn't get any benefit from three days of absolute rest, and the photos are still wrapped up on the table. Uh, Marco uh, insisted, assisted, uh, visited. Marco visited me today. He reported on how things are going back at the university, sitting on a small table. I made a pretense of observing him and paying attention to what he was saying. I asked him if he wanted some coffee. He nodded and told me he would help himself. You should rest, he said, raising a smile, smirking. I told you a myriad of times not to coddle, not to address me in such a polite way. Uh, I replied, letting him do it. Uh, a few minutes later, he returned from the kitchen, carrying a little tray with two... What is that word? He's so clumsy, he stumbled, pouring the steaming hot coffee on the package with the photos inside. Everything happened as quick as a flash. Regaining his balance and realizing what he had just done, he opened the envelope to... Uh, in order to remove the stained sheets, allowing the liquid to pass through it. Without uttering a word, he handed me the photographs while he was cleaning. As soon as I held them in my hands, I felt uh, shivers running over my whole body, and that uneasy feeling that didn't abandon me during the last weeks turned into horror. The first image showed two mountains. I whispered with a choking voice, Castor and Pollux. Uh, amazed by recognizing them, I began to browse them. 
After cleaning the mess, Marco came closer to gape at those old photos with me. Why have some of them been torn, he asked. No clue, I replied in a huff without any reason. I couldn't even recall having been in those places. Unfortunately, there were no doubts. Some of the torn photographs featured me too. These were shot. Uh, these these were shot in several locations, I guess. Uh, there's a bunch of names, but I can't read the handwriting. Uh, when was I there? Who was with me? Why were these photos ripped apart? Filled with questions, I didn't care to Marco any more. So after a couple of minutes, he fabricated some excuse. I didn't even hear, so he could take leave. I was flipping through the photos more and more heatedly, as if they were a dream sequence of which I was seeking the sense. Only after many hours, I stood up from the chair to lay the photos on the table, and only then did I notice that one of the photographs fell to the ground under it. It must have fallen at the time Marco pulled them off the envelope to save them from the coffee. I picked it up, looked at it for a few seconds, and then I fell on the floor like a corpse would have fallen. The old sawmill I had seen in the photo appeared to me in my dreams. I, s I reached it, but I couldn't go nearer. I wasn't able to pass once the surrounding fence, or I wasn't able to pass over the surrounding fence, as if it were an invisible barrier. When I saw her, I was caught in a trance. Now, as then, there was the doorstep, or there was, she was on the doorstep, and her immense gorgeousness illuminated the, I can't read that word, the walls in which I was imprisoned. The, she seemed sad and didn't talk to me. When I came round again, soaked by the morning sun, my doubts were gone. I must go to Diagas Valley, or better, should I say, return to. I will bring with me few things, and this, this jotter, where I hoped I will be able to write how this crazy story ends. Anna, how could I forget you? Alright, there's his journal. I don't think any of this actually got recorded. I don't think any of that got recorded. Okay, amazingly, all of that got recorded while the game was paused. So I'm gonna do that again. I've got a bunch of photos here as well. So in the extra package, there's the journal and the photos. I'm gonna look at the photos. Unfortunately, you can't see them, but I'll try to describe them. Alright? Alright. So, basically, this is a real place. As far as I can tell, these are pictures of a real house, and it looks pretty much exactly like... Well, not quite exactly. It looks very much like what we have in the game, except less clean, less sunny, less shiny, and just kind of dirtier and more run down. But otherwise, it looks like a real place. Um, And that's it. I mean, I don't know what else to say other than if you just look at the stuff in game, you would see everything that there is to see in the photos. Okay, so I don't know if that's the same as these documents. Uh, let me just actually, how do I get out? Oh, I press I to get out. Let me just save the game. I'm just gonna keep a lot of saves just in case. Back to game. What can I do with my phone? No signal. Interesting. Perhaps for the best, since I'm in no mood to speak with anyone. I don't know, call the cops maybe, just in case? Notebook. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, notebook. What the... How did I end up here? This is the... Oh, this is the addition. So, the other stuff was before. And now we are adding to the notebook, but now that we're here, what the, how did I end up here? This is the sawmill I keep seeing in my dreams, but I don't understand, am I awake or still asleep? In my dreams, I'm always outside the fence, but not this time. I want to find out what's hidden here. I somehow feel that this, that in that house, I will find the answers to my questions, and maybe her too. So there you go. I can't sleep, I've got a sleeping headache, I'm writing just so I can survive 
the discomfort. Uh, can I turn the page? No, I can walk. Oh, I can turn the page here. And aesthetics, oh wait a minute. Oh, this is the uh... That's the book that I was just reading around. Okay, so that's the book. You can see some of the images and the handwriting is much better here <laughs> than in the PDF. Alright, so that was completely pointless, me reading that. It's all here. But we're not gonna go through this again. I don't get out of this, okay. But the documents are still bugged, as far as I can tell. That might be problematic. I don't know if I want to read those or not, or try to read those again. So I click that, and then there's nothing here, right? And I press escape, and I can't actually escape out of this. I can... I, oh, I can press I. Okay, never mind. I can press I to get back. But if there's no documents, like I, I click that... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see. It's a... It's a... It's a folder. We don't have any documents yet. When we find documents, they'll be inside here. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. It's not a bug. It's just empty, and it doesn't really tell you how to get out. You just press I to get back out. Alright, the game's not that well designed, but I think we've got it. I think we understand how this works. Okay, so we have a little string here. I'm gonna cut the string. Uh, I'll bring it with me. Cut the rope. What is that? A loose string? Okay, fine. A little door. Oh no, you have to pull it. You can't just click on it. Uh, a cracked wall. No way, I can't make it with my bare hands. You can crouch by pressing C, by the way. A cracked wall? Knife it? Nope. Uh, paper wallet? Nope. Uh, no, what are we doing? Put the knife away. Put the knife away. Put the knife away. Put the knife away. Okay, right click to put the knife away. Pebble it. Nope. Uh, set it on fire. Nope. Alright, so you can't do that. Ah, uh, what else was back here? There was a door back here. It's closed. Maybe it's possible to open it from the inside. Alright. Apparently we can't open it here. I think we just go in the front door. Not sure. There's a, oh, a stick. A wooden branch. Okay, I'll pick up some sticks. I don't know. Okay, it's an adventure game. It's a 3D adventure game. But we're still kind of just looking for things to click on. There was a hidden branch in the tall grass. I mean, how many of you think that's a good idea? How many of you think that's good game design? To put items in the tall grass for you to kind of find. I don't think it's a good idea for games, man. What's it, look, maple leaves? I'll take one. Alright, pile of rocks. That's a grave, isn't it? What's this? Dirty object. There are some flowers around this pile of rocks. Someone must have stacked them like that on purpose. Yeah, it's a grave. I think. Anyway, we found the dirty object. Ah, there's a big rock here. I guess this means that we're gonna spend the entire game staring at the ground, looking for things to pick up. Right? I don't know. What is this? A pile of rocks? A sort of rocks are scattered on the ground? Can't pick any of them up, alright. We've got the water from the brook, we've got a pebble. And... Barred window. The window is bolted firmly shut, we can't open that. There's no way to pass through here, alright, fine. Barred window, yep, can't go through there neither. We can probably just jump up here, if we can jump. There's no jumping in the game, though. Just looking for more things to pick up. Alright, so there's another side door. Nope, it's closed. Maybe it's possible to open from the inside. Ah, uh, this thing. 
Something's inside. Let's try and break it. Oh, wait, we can't break it. Hold on, let me just get out of that. Can I throw rock? Yes, I can. A gear piece. You really can't reach it. You can't reach it? I have had no achievement. Wooden branch. Got it. Okay. So what do I have? See, I've got more stuff. What is this? Dirty object. Can I just look at it? It's coated with dirt. I can't figure out what it could be. Alright, let me just stick that in the water. See if we can get the dirt off it. Uh, dirty object in the brook. It's cleaned with water. Oh, I've cleaned it with water. It's some piece of gear. How would it have wandered under those rocks? Well, somebody put it there, obviously. Uh, piece of gear. They fit together perfectly, okay. But I need to hook them up. I need something to hook them up. Okay. Uh, string? Little string? The gear has been fixed now. I'm not sure that works like that. So like, a string is not really strong enough to hold a mechanical gear together. Anyway, we'll just go with it. Maple leaf, wooden branch, canteen. Let me just try the stick on this. Cracked wall? Yeah, let me just poke it, the stick. That's a really strong stick. A dry branch? A dry wooden branch, it looks pretty sturdy. 